Simple pleasures, greatest treasures. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I'm here, uh... Woke up in the middle of the night again. I guess we'll, we'll try and get some... Something going. Hopefully I don't end up bit. I need some foods. Just a little bit of foods. Is that a door? It's so dark in here. Oh, there's a zombie at the window. Wow, that guy almost bit me. <laughs> I walked right into him. Well, oh, okay. Let's have a little drinky do. And, uh, I'll eat something from this fridge here. Rotten cake. Oh no. Oh no. Everything seems pretty rotten. But not this onion. Go ahead and slice up this onion. Yeah. That's gonna be good for the Eatons, right? A couple of sliced onions. Oh, it gives me boredom and un unhappiness when I, uh, <laughs> when I slice it up. That sucks. Why, why would that happen? Alright. Try again. Don't need to modify anything, just, just need to find a decent drink. Foods, or something. I'm gonna eat this whole watermelon. That'll be good. It's nutritious in the morning. Hopefully that dude doesn't break down the window. I, I kind of forget where uh, where I am. Which is not good. I'll also need my sweater, which I put in a bag, I assume. There it is. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. You're wearing a striped I don't know how that song goes. But here we are. Here we are in the uh, the part of town that I haven't explored yet. So let's... Oh my god, is there anything in here? It's so dark. I should probably get um a flashlight or some such. Gas cans. Yeah, I don't really need any of that. Generator. Alright. No, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I run into the wilderness now. That house is uh sounding pretty foul. All right, don't follow me. Don't follow me. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. All right. Well, I was hoping to uh find some some goodies or whatnot around here, but I'm also halfway thinking that I should probably try and head home at some point, because seeing how many zombies there are out here, um, I'm sure that my house is going to end up pretty infested in a short little while. We're pretty late in the game now, even though the uh, electricity and water still works for some reason. I don't understand, but one day it will shut off, <laughs> I assume. I'm, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure how this works. Let's go ahead and do some shopping or textbooks. Hmm. Nothing, nothing. Oceanography. Ooh, that's interesting. Not much for me here. How about in the kitchen? Y'all got some foods for the Dayton? Cream soda. Mmm. That's good. Ham. That's gigantic. That's more food than I need, probably. Mm, everything seems to be rotting just a little bit, which is not good. We're gonna be in some trouble pretty soon, I think. But uh, I don't think depression will kill you, unless you decide to drink the bleach. <laughs> and I might, if it goes uh, really horribly. If I'm surrounded by zombies, go ahead, drink the bleach. It'll probably hurt less. Slightly. Ooh, there's some crayons. Man. You should make a little, uh, a little color. Dr. Oids. Is that like Dr. Mario? Droids? I think, uh, we've disassembled one of those arcade machines before. And we got absolutely nothing from it. So thank you, Dr. Oids. For absolutely nothing. Ooh, this place is surrounded by a big fence. That's rather nice. Should go have a little exploration. 
Oh, it's a, a, a variety of houses. And it's actually raining, so I don't want to stay out here for too long. Just uh, find some cover. A little bit of shelter. Why is this TV on? I want to turn off TV. Please turn off TV. Excellent. It's completely dark in here. Get the lights. Ah, much better. Hmm. And I'm not seeing anything that I could uh, really use. I will take these eggs. Herring. Uncooked herring. Hmm. Not my favorite. Lemon lime soda. Can't say 7-Up. It's not 7-Up. It's just generic lemon lime soda. Wonderful. Dog biscuit, which I can't eat. <laughs> uh, aw, that's too bad. Ooh, gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. I, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to load up with uh, some food. As much food as I could find, and then I will try and head back towards my hoose. Because I don't want it to, uh, to turn into a shit, a shit show. You know what I mean? There's a very big chance of that happening while I am away. I need to, uh, stay on patrol. And yeah, we're basically full up as far as the bags go already. Alright. So, uh, let's see if I could sleep a little more. I don't want to get exhausted on the road. We're not tired enough to sleep yet, so okay. That's fine. Oh my god. Just everywhere out here. Aren't you? Aren't you? You're all over the place. All right. Now let's see if I can remember uh, which way I came from. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I ran up this road just a little bit. I don't remember that house over there. Oh man, this is not going to be good. There's the trailer park though. Hmm. Can I find the uh, the boarded up trailer? Doesn't look like it's around here anywhere. Dang. Dang, y'all. I'm gonna be so lost. I don't wanna be so lost. I'm a, I'm a simple man. Simple pleasures, greatest treasures. Alright. Let's at least try and search this. Climb through. Close that. Good jab. Good jab. Some more nails. Fishing rod. Cheap metal. Kmars, cyan light bulb. You like that black light, huh? That's pretty cool. Open, climb through, look a bit. Easy day. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy kind of popped out of nowhere, didn't he? Didn't he? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it back to the hoose. At least not in this episode. I think it's a pretty far ways off. I'm, I'm sure this is the right direction, but I'd really like a road or something to, uh, to travel by. Instead of just running through the woods like some kind of fucking weirdo. Ooh, this is a really nice house. Hmm. Maybe I make a base over here. Wow, yeah, brained. Brained, bitch! This is, uh... Pretty, pretty discreet, I think. It's rather nice. And there are some sheets here, so I'll go ahead and hang these on the window. Why not? And, uh... I'll consider this to be base number four, I guess, technically. Close curtains, close curtains, add sheets, close curtains. Looking good. Looking super good now. Brought bacon donuts. Should eat some of this. Yeah, that's good. I like donuts. Alright. Just facing away from the fridge while eating, but that's that's fine. Everything's normal. Everything's okay here. Uh, yeah, it's somewhat of a base. I would need to chop off the, uh, the the wood and make little planks and board up the windows to make it official, but 
Yeah, it's still early in the morning. I don't want to cause too much trouble for myself. So we'll continue on through this overgrown uh, mess that I call my life. <laughs> Anything in the trash? Newspaper, magazines, cigarettes. Scribbles. Ooh, somebody busted this door open, I think. Was it me? Did I come in here? I think I would have turned the TV off. Hmm. Mysterious. I need to be quite careful, I think. More donuts. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. Yeah, it's a good time. Container with fresh food. Hmm. Maybe I keep. I keep one later. Yes. Wonderful. So, here's a, a road that's going in roughly the right direction. So, I guess, I guess I'll follow the road? Question mark? <laughs> it's not gonna be fun, because, uh, yeah, I've already been awake for four hours, something like that. So, if I can't find a place to sleep, I'll be relatively screwed. But I know I'll hit a landmark eventually, I think. If I just keep traveling down this way. I'd really like to find my way back to the trailer park before uh, taking off in this direction, running into the woods. But we're, we're doing what we can do. That's all you can ever do. Alright, drink a little bit of this. A little water. Quench your thirst. That's nice. Mmm. Drinky drink. And there's quite a bit of that remaining. I think that's rather nice. Ah, a leisurely walk through the woods. I hope that this is the right way home. I mean, I traveled southwest pretty far, so now I'm going to have to travel northeast pretty far. Hmm. There's a car outside. I wish I had a car. Although, uh, I would probably end up eating all my gasoline. Just be like, oh, this is easy. We'll, we'll just cruise in the car everywhere we go. We'll eat this now. It's a Tupperware full of foods. It's a uh, tuna casserole. What is this? Giant thing. Wow. We should build a house out here, huh? But again, there's no time. We must go back. Back to the future. Hmm. I hesitate to just uh, jump into the woods. <laughs> it's probably not the uh, the greatest idea. Well, we'll continue on the road, and I'll try to find the, the other road, maybe, where this all connects. If indeed it does connect. It's quite a mystery. Do I remember this windy path? I think I do, kind of, vaguely. Oh man. This ain't good. It's the trouble with Project Zomboid, if you're not playing it all in one sit down, you gotta remember what the what the fuck you were doing. Oh, there's a dead body. We've been this way. I'm pretty sure of that. That's a nice a nice road marker. You know, you're like Hansel and Gretel only instead of breadcrumbs you leave corpses. Corpsified corpses along the way. I really do hope this is this is the direction. It was such a long run in this direction, and really I didn't even take that much stuff back with me. I guess it was uh, just to get rid of that there cabin fever. I spent a lot of time out there in the woods by myself, and I don't like that. You know, if you're, if you're alone, that's hard. You might go a little bit crazy after three months by yourself, not seeing another person except uh, the walking dead. The walking dead. Y'all still watching that show? I stopped watching season 2, then I picked up again recently because I heard all this shit about Negan. Oh my god, what a badass. A bad, bad, badass. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd be that guy. I don't think I'd be Rick either, if you want me to be completely honest. I'd just be a normal ass dude. I'll, I'll run and hide. Okay, so now we're we're hitting the highway. 
Which is good, question mark. I just need to find some uh, some corpses and make some corpses. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to to knock this dude up because my exertion's super high. Moderate exertion. Take a break. I can't take a break. Don't you understand? I gotta I gotta do this thing. I gotta take it all the way. I know I'm gonna get uh, drowsy at some point. Dang. Is this highway going the right way? Oh my god. Life is a highway. I wanna ride it. All night long. Man. I think that we did go down this highway. Um. Maybe. I'd really like to see some corpses to mark my way. But yeah, like I say, man oh man. I probably just ran past all these zombies the first time around. And now I'm just like, hey, I'm, I'm back again. Hi, how y'all doing? You still out here? You eating any brains yet? Now, an interesting piece of zombie lore, you know? Some zombies, they fall apart uh, if they don't eat. But some zombies just fall apart no matter what. So I think these zombies uh, are the ones that fall apart if they don't eat because they... They all look relatively, uh, human still. I don't see any missing arms or things like that. Ooh, there's a sign. What does the sign say? Nobody knows. <laughs> it disappeared. Why? Oh, it's raining meat at Spiffos. It's raining meat. Hallelujah, it's raining meat. Ooh, diner. Did we stop by this diner before? I guess so. There's uh, corpses in front of it, and I've definitely disassembled a a machine of some kind over here, it looks like. What is that on the floor? I don't know what that is. Oh. There's a game called Pause, which uh, I don't feel like playing or disassembling at the moment. Hmm. We could just have a little, a little chocolate popscuckles, huh? That's pretty good for you. Mmm. Fresh pumpkins. Yeah. Take some of that. And uh, I need to get rid of my exertion. Got some high exertion. I think uh, at some point I'm going to, to get pretty sleepy. Pretty sleepy. So let's have a little nap. See how that goes. I'm dead just like you guys. Don't break down the doors. Thank you so much. All right, what a little nap we had. Everything went relatively smoothly. Okay, so uh, I see some corpses. I've been to that diner before, so I think uh, I'm just gonna continue on down this way. Hmm, there's a fork in the road. Fork me. Here, here, here. And this looks like a construction site, some such. I think I weed through those containers on the way over here. Okay. I'm pretty confident that we're going the correct way. <laughs> I was worried for just a minute. There's another corpse, I think. Or a crawler. Hmm. And now it's going to start raining. That's wonderful. If I end up dying from fucking pneumonia in a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to be so upset with myself. I probably should have gone into one of those houses and, like, tried to wait it out, but, um, yeah. I'm brave. I'm strong. Look at me. I'm so bald and beardy and manly. I can live. Citrus Mart. Citrus Mart? They just sell citrus. I'm looking for a pomegranate. Uh, well, that's not citrus, sir. Yes, it is. It tastes like citrus. It's citrus. Do you know if a pomegranate is actually citrus? Because I don't. I'm just trying to make a stupid joke. And I think the joke is stupider than I think because people are going to be like, Ah, oh, Dayton doesn't know pomegranates are citrus. What an asshole. <laughs> hey, look, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to do my own thing here. Oh, man. There's, there's so much highway left to go. <laughs> I don't even know why I came all the way out here. And then, uh, immediately get paranoid. I'm like, ah, oh, should probably head back. 
before my house uh, turns turns to crap. Because the only reason I was keeping the streets so clean is because I was patrolling them consistently, and now I am not. Little uh, vaporizer action. I did quit smoking cigarettes, as I mentioned. I missed the nicotine, so I had to uh, I had to turn to vape. So now I'm officially a douchebag, and uh, I'm gonna start listening to dubstep. Oh, there's the spiffos we slept in earlier. Yeah, this is definitely the right way. There's a gas station. Is that a gas station? No, it's a clothes shop. Hmm. I still kind of want to experiment with, like, Molotov cocktails and shit. Um, but I've heard that the zombies do take a long time to burn, and they will probably end up um, torching at least part of my base. <laughs> so, not the greatest idea that I've ever had, but um, I'm, I'm a little curious to, uh, to start some action, you know what I mean? We've been alive so long, and I'm kind of losing hope <laughs> that we'll ever die. Maybe we'll just be Kings of the Apocalypse, wouldn't that be cool? We could go all Mad Max and shit, build a car with spikes on it, drive around looking for gas, which is kind of redundant. <laughs> uh, I mean, is it that redundant? You need the gas to drive, but then you're driving looking for the gas that you use to drive, you know? <laughs> Obviously, I've, I've lost my mind just, just a little bit. No amount of donuts and popsicles will bring it back. Aww. Oh, that exertion creeping up always makes me just a little bit sad. Should probably walk it. Walk it out. Now walk it out. Walk it out. Now walk it out. And I think this is the uh, the larger stretch that I took to get to the the place that I was at. So I think uh, we've still got quite a ways to go before we're gonna reach civilization once more, or at least my my neck of civilization. I mean, it's still a paved road. That is some sign of civilization, is it not? And I'm driving down the, the center lane like a fucking madman. Mad Max. <laughs> it's just like I said, only I don't have a car. I really do want to see them uh, implement the cars update. But it's one of those things that uh, Indie Stone talks about, but they never, they never really do. <laughs> oh, there's those berries I found. Cool. I'm scared to eat the berries. I foraged them, but uh, I, I don't want to eat them. I should have got the herbalist trait or something. Being an electrician was so, uh, so not the thing that I should have done. Because it doesn't seem to really affect much at all. And uh, let's see, we're pretty close on cooking. We get up to cooking level 6, and then we'll cook some more stuff, I guess. And I think foraging is what I'll be leveling next. I probably got a lot of experience built up in uh, Lightfoot and Nimble since I've left them at level 1 since like the very beginning. One is like, you can sneak, sneakier, sneak, sneakier. Wow, that sounds great. You can climb fences faster. Wow, that sounds awesome. I always wanted to be a fast fence climber, right? Mm -hmm. How many fences have I seen? Not that many. They didn't uh, trip me up that much. It goes from like half a second climbing a fence to a quarter of a second climbing a fence. Wow. That's half the time. Not worth it, in my opinion. I've got skill points to spend on basically everything else. That's right, I was gonna do some uh, electronics work. It's like a noisemaker or some shit like that. Is that is that something I remember correctly? Electricals. Hmm. I want to make a a sensor flame trap. That'd be cool. Some zombies get near it and it just kind of like explodes with fire. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty sick. Super sick. I want to make a, a noisemaker as well. 
Hmm. Could be pretty nice. Now another turn in the road. Hmm, is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? Nobody's really sure. I might have been had. Oh man. That exertion is huge. It says can barely walk, but I'm I'm doing more than walking still. If I can find a place to rest up, I will. What is this over yonder? Ah, Pizza World. Delicious Pizza World. So glad to see you. But I'm going to the, the supermarket first. Let's see about all this. I'm pretty sure I've been in here before. And there's nowhere to sit down. That's so terrible, but I guess that makes sense. They don't want you to sit down in a supermarket. They want you to walk around and look at all the shit and buy something. Buy something! Buy something or get out! That's how it goes. They don't say that to your face, but they, they think it, that's for sure. So we'll get a little more sleep. Hopefully I'm not going to die. God, it's 7 p.m. We spent basically the entire day walking. Walking like a fucking zombie. Well, I might uh, try and catch some Z's around here. But I need to find uh, the correct place to do so. I've, I've been relatively lucky with not having zombies wake me up in the middle of the night, though. I guess they just uh, see me lying down and they're like, Oh, he's one of us. He's just one of us, guys. Leave that guy alone. He's just trying to get a nap. I don't think the zombies nap. I think they just stand in the road like this. Uh, what is that Stephen King book with, like, people who get their brains zonked by cell phones? I think it's called Cellular, maybe. Maybe it's based on that. I I'm not real sure. Okay, are we, are we back home yet? Is this relatively where I'm supposed to be? What a walk. I think that's the school. Yeah, there's a body outside. Um, close these, please. Close doors. There's a zombie. And I broke a window. Fantastic. Well done. Doesn't seem like anybody heard that. Or anything heard that. <laughs> But yeah, the park's filling up. You guys, the park closes at 7. You need to go home. You need to get the hell out of here. I'm the enforcer. Don't make me start having to enforce, okay? It's my job, but I don't really want to do it. I I'm just here to collect a paycheck, alright? Alright. Oh, and that bank looks like shit. But yes, we did make it home. I didn't get lost hardly at all. I doubted myself, but I said, no, Dayton, just keep going. Just keep going and you'll get there, bro. And guess what? I got there, bro. I am home, home. Jiggity jog. So, uh, let's, let's take the secret entrance. If I can click it. Thank you so much. Whoopie doo. Hey. Hey, how's everybody doing in here? Great. Me too. Eight o'clock. Bedtime. So, friends, this has been Project Zomboy, and I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you some uh, melon e-cigarette liquid, which has uh, 3 milligrams of nicotine per 50 milliliters, which I don't know how that translates grams to liters or whatever. I ain't no scientist. Just, just smoke it, is what I say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, friends. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.